where we want to convert. from frequency to clock cycle. Okay. Here's an example. If the frequency is equal to 1 gigahertz, what is the clock period? The clock period is 1 over frequency or 1 over 1 gigahertz. So let's rewrite gigahertz as 1 over 1 times 10 to the 9 hertz. Okay. So mega 10 to the 6, giga 10 to the 9, tera 10 to the so if we multiply the top and bottom by 10 to the minus 9, we have 10 to the minus 9. So notice the units here in the denominator is cycles per second, which I can simplify as 10 to the 9 seconds per cycle. So 10 to the 9th is Pico. Okay. So that's Pico. So we can rewrite our answer as 1 Pico second. Per cycle as our clock period. Let's do another example where the frequency is 2.66 gigahertz. Now this is an actual frequency of one of Intel's processors. The clock period is 1 over 2.66 giga is 10 to the ninth hertz. So we can simplify or rewrite this fraction as follows using the properties of fractions. And I'm going to take my units at this point and um, change it to seconds per cycle. So 1 over 2.66, if you were to use your calculator, you can see that is 0 0.375 approximately, and 10 to the minus 9. Um, at this point, let's rewrite our point seven, or point 0.375 to 375 times 10 to the minus 3. So how did we do that? Well, note that 0.375 is the same as 375 over 1000, which is 375 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay. So now using the law of exponents, we can have 10 to the minus 12th. Now 10 to the minus 12th is pico. So our answer can be rewritten as 375 pico seconds per cycle. Let's do one more example. What if this time our frequency of our processor is 3 gigahertz? Also a Intel chip specification. So 3 times 10 
to the ninth hertz. Okay, so let's rewrite that as 1 over 3 times 1 over 10 to the ninth. So 1 over 3, we specify um, as a repeating decimal, 0 0.33 times 10 to the minus 9. So let's rewrite this as 330 times 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the minus 9. So how do we do that? Well, 0 0.33 is the same as 33 over 100, which is the same as 330 over 1000, which is the same as 330 times 10 to the minus 3. So now we can use the law of exponents to group our powers of 10 together to get 10 to the minus 12, which is picoseconds, or pico. So we can just say this is 330 picoseconds per cycle. So in other words, the clock frequency between two edges is 330 picoseconds. So notice that when we had 2.66 gigahertz, we have 375 picoseconds. And when we have 3 gigahertz, so the frequency has gone up, our clock cycle has gone down, which is what we expect for the reciprocal relationship. When the frequency goes up, the clock period goes down.